All right, we got two videos. It's going viral on Instagram and Twitter, mm -hmm. packing up and racking more than 30,000 views apiece. Check it out. It shows Atlanta police making two separate arrests here. But is there more to these stories than we're seeing on that news feed? Well, tonight we're taking a closer look at each one to give context to the stories. Caitlin Ross is in the newsroom walking us through the first one. And Caitlin, the first time we saw this clip, it was heavily edited, mm -hmm. right? So now we have the raw video and both sides of very different interpretations. The NAACP says they want an explanation. They don't think the officer in the video acted appropriately. But a use of force expert says not only did he act appropriately, he deserves a commendation for using restraint. So how do two people see the same video so differently? Tonight, we're going through it frame by frame. This is the moment that went viral online. An APD officer captured throwing a punch at a man. But that's not when the witness started filming. The confrontation started after a car crashed and the suspect allegedly stole a large bag of drugs from the car. The video shows the officer telling the suspect to drop it, then the punch. Going over and punching somebody based on a non-threat is a serious escalation of force. But the shot lags and for three long seconds, you hear the fight off camera, but you only see the road. Whatever occurred in those three seconds has caused the officer to fear for his safety. Use of force expert and former cop Bill McKinney says he thinks the officer did everything right. That was reasonable force that was used. The taser doesn't seem to work, and you see a woman approach the officer, pushing him twice before he pushes her back. She gets between the officer and this man, who is apparently a suspect, um, and is interfering with his ability to perform his police duties. He should have never used that level of force on her. As you can see, she was trying to de-escalate the situation. The officer tries to use his taser again, and again the two men are off camera before you see the officer fall to the ground. It takes another minute of them struggling before two other officers come over and arrest the suspect. The police officers are trained to be protectors and guardians of the community, not warriors. The minute you assault an officer, he's not going to let you go. He is going to continue until he can arrest you or take a suspect down. And that's what he was doing. He did a good job. Just in the last few minutes, we learned that officer seen throwing the punch is now on desk duty. He's been pulled from his patrols pending the outcome of their internal investigation.